Greetings and welcome to Hope Canada's inclusive and resilient live music and art series. This is your girl, Miss Candace Cash, brought to you by Moksha Canada. Each and every Friday at 6 p.m., you can catch us here introducing you to new artists in the Toronto area and artists that are doing their things, right? Tonight, we have Ninja, N-I-N-J-A-H, Ninja, welcome. Thank you for gracing us with your presence. Also, thank you for having me. It's a pleasure being here with you today with Candice Cash. Always a pleasure yeah. to be in your presence, Ninja. So, let's get it popping. Let's know about your musical journey because... Um, I uh, met you in the karaoke circuit, and um, I always thought your voice was great, and now you're doing great works. Let us know how your journey came to be. Where did you start? What was your first memory of Ninja touching mic? Wow. That's <laughs> way back when, man. Let us know. <laughs> give, us, give us the journey. That's way back in Jamaica where I was born. What part of Jamaica? Spanish Town, St. Catherine. Big up Spanish Town, St. Catherine. Any, yeah. any, any memorable moment? For example, you, you started at a young age, I would think. Very young age. Apparently, I was like born a singer. You're born a singer, right. So I like, it's natural. It's natural. I get it from my mama and my papa. Mm -mm, it's in the bloodline. Yeah, my mama used to start to sing. And my papa joined in with the harmony and, oh. and vice versa. Nice. You know? So and I grew up, start listening to some Bob Marley and some Dennis Brown. Okay. And then Barry Salmon come take over the thing, you know? Mm. You know? What's wrong with the world now? Needs love injection. Yes, yes. And, and that's where you started moving into the scene. So yes. apparently at one point... In my life, mm -hmm. in Jamaica, I gave up on music. I say I never want to do it. Why? Anymore. Why? What, what would make someone talented as you n not want to do it? I love my life more than music. Mm. So were you getting into any issues or something that was causing you to believe that your life was as, as in danger? It's just about... Um, Oh, one would look at it still. Okay. Once you get into the music deep, deep, there's some things that come with it. Mm. Like, I hate to say these things, man, but it happens. Like, you have to sell your soul. Okay. Yes. So you say you don't want to gain the world and sell your soul. Definitely not. So you decided to do your own pathway. Yeah. So okay. I, I quit it. And I never start singing again until I come back to Canada. What made you open yourself again to music, to pursue that passion, to open your talents and show the world? I lost someone in my life that's dearest to me. Oh, tell us. what. Tell us the story. Tell and us your inspiration. That, that was the wife of my kids. Okay. And the then, wife of your kids? Yeah. Okay. Then I start to go into these bars. One night I go into a bar and they were having karaoke in there. And I'm like, it was a night where they were um, the best singer would get a gift. Okay. And I end up winning that gift. And you wasn't even trying. I wasn't even trying. I end up winning that gift. And from there, I say, oh, I got to come here. When is the next one? Mm -hmm. I started to go to karaoke. and It opened I up feel, your again. Yeah, and I, I feel people's art. Okay. Because it's like they never hear about anything like me yet. I've been in situations where people tell me don't sing no more because I can't pay you. Oh, really? Yeah, I've been in those situations. Wow. I've been in situations people come up to me. Like people literally walk up to the mic when they hear what's coming out. Mm -hmm. They walk up to the mic right in my ears to see if it's really my voice. If it's <laughs> really me singing. <laughs> yeah. Well, that goes to show you the professionalism the way you handle your voice and your vocals, right? So sometimes they can't even believe they want to know if it's a recording, right? You know what I mean? <laughs> exactly. So yeah. right now you're working on an album. I have what's, an what's up for you in your journey? I have some new project coming out, coming this summer, maybe early fall. Mm -hmm. There should be out some videos, new music. Yeah. So in your journey, who would you say is your 
cheerleaders or it's people who your team, the people who push Ninja forward and and keep Ninja grounded in this journey. Because as you say, you don't want to gain the world and sell your soul. So who's those cheerleaders who keep you grounded and keep you focused so that you're not lost in the distractions of music? Big up to Cut and Clear Music Production and the management. Cut and Clear! Empress Nas. Empress Nas, yeah. big up yourself. Anyway, you're there. You're I done now. I have some positive things to tell me, you know? Okay, and yeah. keeps you grounded. Yeah. Keeps you focused. Yeah. And that's important. And I, I, have, I have to big up one selector too. And a radio host. Big up. DJ Wiz. DJ Wiz, big up yourself anywhere you're there. 2018. 2018. When I was on Bus Canada, mm -hmm. I was the first to grace the mic. Okay. So you set the tone. Yeah. You set the stage. Yes. Okay. Right through the night, this man don't stop big me up. Mm -mm. And I admire that and I respect that. I will never forget it. DJ Wiz, big up yeah. yourself anyway, you're there. So yeah. I'm glad that you you found your space, you know, a place that you can be ninja and show the world your talents. Big up cut and clear again. So right now you're coming out to do your album and you'll be performing for us soon, right? So Bring I'm excited. It Bring it on. I'm excited to see your performance. But let's know more about the artist ninja right you say you started in the karaoke sector that's what brought you back to the world of yeah. music of singing when did you start honing into your own music rather than karaoke of cover songs and stuff like that when did you start developing your own style and your own vibes when did you start working on that i wouldn't even say i start work on that okay. it just come naturally now Okay. There's a spirit that flow within I. Mm. There's a spirit that flow within I. And, and what can and, we look forward to with your music? More spiritual vibes. Okay. More love music. Yes, I so you're going to do a few songs for us tonight. Let us hear, like, what's, what's the vibe of the songs you're going to select to give the audience tonight for them to know who Ninja is? Yeah, I got some reggae beats and they're all, those reggae beats is all about love. We're love. singing about love. There love is, is the answer. Yeah. There is one there. We were talking about troubling not, troubling not the world, but you know, it's love, same way. Because only love can conquer all, you know? So true. Love is the answer yeah. to all. All things. Love Even is the before answer. you respond, think, how can I do this with love? You know? It's all about love. Yeah, bring yourself love, back. Because you know. sometimes the emotions get you caught up and, you know, you don't handle it in a loving manner. You know what I mean? So I like the message that you're bringing with love. Because love is the answer. It is the answer. It is the answer. So I, I'm looking forward to hearing your music in regards to this message of love. You know what I'm saying? No, yes. my, 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 my vibes is telling me that, you know, you're going to have some videos coming out. Where can people get a hold of you to do a show, to collaborate, to, you know, follow you? What, what would be the, the media or the outlet for them to reach Ninja? You can link up Michael Cowan on Facebook. Michael Cowan on Facebook. You got to spell it for the people so they know the right thing, you know, because people spell things different and ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Michael. I got to spell Michael. Well, listen, everybody, people, let's go Michael. All kind of different spellings. Let's be real. Let's be real, people. I got to be real with you, too, because <laughs> at one point... And I, listen, I, um, literacy is not universal, you know. Not everybody yeah. could spell it. IT. All right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so Michael, give them... Michael is spelled M-I-C-H-A-E-L. See? H-A-E-L. Yes. See? See? A lot of people might just do a K. <laughs> it happens. Go ahead. And uh, Cohen is spelled C-O-W-A-N. Okay, so people check out Michael Cohen on Facebook if you want to connect with him there. Where can we connect with you on Instagram? Ninja Music. And spell it for them, because 
if I put N I N J A H music, I might get the Don Daga in Jamaica. I don't know. I just, you know. I, <laughs> I want to tell you the reason to that's why I have to add the J to it, the okay. H to it, because I was trying to use it just with the A. Okay. And they wouldn't allow me. Oh. So you had to put the N I N with a slash or a dash and the J. Ja. In order to become original ninja. Yeah. Okay, okay. So what so we're doing ninja is... Ninja music, M-U-S-I-C. So N-I-N, is it the underscore or just the dash? Slash. So the dash. So N-I-N dash J-A-H M-U-S-I-C yeah, music. at Instagram. Yeah. So at Ninja Music. music. People, yeah. follow Ninja Music Instagram. Where can we... I also have mm -hmm. another Instagram page with Arum, Arum Ninja. And I have to tell you how I get these names. Please, right? yes. Let, let's tell the story. <laughs> That's how we get to know you. That's what it's all about yeah. here at Hope Canada. Well, I used to play soccer back home. Okay. And at a time when I get the name Harum, there is two racers on the track, mm. which was the fastest one. One is called Arum and one is called Stentorian. Mm. Stentorian was a female arse. So the guys in my ball field said, no, we can't call him Stentorian because Stentorian is a female, but Aram is a male ass, so Aram that. Mm, so Aram Ninja. Yeah, and I, I come to Canada and I'm playing soccer again. Okay. And the guys are like, how come when you have the ball, nobody can take it from you? <laughs> but when they have the ball, you take it so easily. You must be a ninja, ja, 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 ja. <laughs> and from that day, Everybody just start calling me ninja. ninja. Everybody just stick on me. So stay with it. So he's a ball thief. <laughs> <laughs> you still uh, ball on the soccer uh, field. All yeah, right. I love the sport. I saw your man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But I have so, to see a soccer game maybe this summer. You got to put on something, man. Let the people come and check you out. See some skills. I ain't playing it no more. <laughs> because I'm up there now, you know. Well, I mean, yeah. we are only yeah. as old as we feel. Age is just yeah. a number. So I never go by, yeah. I never go by yeah. thing. It's how you feel, right? Well, I will, I will go out and um, exercise with the guys, and, but right. competitive. Competitively. No. So you wouldn't do one of those, um, you know how to have some clubs? No, you wouldn't do clubs either? Just for the run, for the sweat? It's all about the music. It's all about no, the music. Right <laughs> now, the music, no. And the music thing. But the fitness really helps with the music. Exactly. Right? That's what it I was does, saying for the sweat. It does help with it because when you go there, you do a 20 minutes, half hour up there on the stage. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you need that. Vocals, lungs. Yeah, yes, man. Yeah, you need, you need it. it. So that's yeah. what I was asking for the sweat, you know, just to yeah. get that, that cardio that, that yeah. in to, to keep you pushing forward vocally. I will still do it. Okay. Good. Actually, I, I still do it. That's, so, but, so, so stop but fronting. Most, but don't be coming time, on Hope Canada and fronting. That don't make time, sense. Most time it's summer, you know. When the summer, but, I can't um, wait for the summer to come around hey, to go out there and do we my We know. Thing. Um, that's why I said you have to put on a little exhibition and let the people come check out your skills. And then, you, you know what? You could even do the after party and touch mic. Cha-ching. Cha-ching, ching. ching, ching. <laughs> <laughs> Cut and clear. You hear yeah. that one? <laughs> And so, yoga, yoga exercise is my favorite. Really? Yeah. Mm, let's the find teacher, out ninjas are yoga. I teach you lots of self-control. Eh? Okay. Yeah, so I love it. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. I'm glad to hear that. Especially with you, you know, talking about how important fitness is for music. Yes. And to know that you like soccer and yoga. What's your favorite color? Two colors is my favorite color. What's the colors? Red and black. Red and black. Okay. Is there any significant reason? Yes. <laughs> sure. Red for the blood was shed for my black people. And okay. Black is for my people. And Excuse me. I love it. Black History Month, you hear it right here. Hope Canada Ninja says two favorite color, red and black. Red represents the blood shed by his black people all around the world. And the black represent the many people that's around the world, that are being oppressed. My sister. Ah, Black History Month, you get it right here with Ninja and your girl, Miss Candace Cash. Yeah. Hope Canada, what was it? All right, let's keep it moving. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
I'm enjoying. You can see. You can tell I'm enjoying my time with you, right? Yes. Okay. I'm, I'm, are you enjoying I, your time? I, I am too. Okay. What do you think of this platform? What do you think of what we're doing here at Hope Canada with the inclusive music series? You know, we we, we try to incorporate arts, music, let people come out and showcase their talents. What's your thoughts on what Moksha is trying to present through Hope Canada? It's a good look. Thank what you. What Moksha Canada is doing, it's a good look. An artist should come out. I know you're out there and you see what's going on. Come out, link up Miss Candice Cash, come get your interview, get your thing out there, make people see and know you and support your thing. Yeah, come out. That's what I'm fear there. You send me gonna jump here, come me. I said that's what. Throw away those fear. You know? No Cause, fear. Because the only way you can beat your fear is to face it. If you're not face your fear, you're not beat it. Face so. your fears. Get yeah. yourself ready. Believe in yourself. Contact us. Showcase yourself. Ninja, I just love what you tell the people, you know, because it's so true. I find um, with being a host on this platform, I've been able to meet many artists that a lot of people don't know about. And I've been, you know, seeing a lot of talent. And to know that there is so much more out there, I, I'm, I can't wait for us to continue. I'm just thankful that you're here tonight uh, thank you for to let the people to, know about yeah. ninja music yeah. the upcoming album we have to check it out where can they get your music now 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 you can get my music now on spotify amazon all of them places all so of the big distributor all music platforms yeah. search it n-i-n dash j-a-h over there look for me and support mm. the team mm. You hear the yeah. thing? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to keep it moving because I, I, I'm loving the vibe. What would you say would be your most hmm, memorable moment within your musical journey? So far, thus far, that you can look back and say, I, you know, that was your memorable moment because you've been on the journey Right, you stopped the journey. You started again. Within that journey, what was your most memorable that you can share with us today? I can remember like uh, what this place called Coal Pot. Coal Pot. I remember yeah. that place. Yes. I went in there to do karaoke, mm -hmm. and I was missing my wife like crazy, like crazy. And when I sing Barry's Aman. The music hit me. Which bears? There was tears coming from my eyes. Right? Which bears? Feel good, feel good. I feel good. Because your perfume isn't loud. And only I can talk about. Feels good, feels good. Yo! I'm telling you, madness. That song, actually. Lick me down pa me knee. Oh wow. That night. We always going into it. Music. Man. Music. Yeah. I tell you the Lick power. Me down, knee. The power of music. Yeah. I'm 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 I love that you took something personal to share with us in that it was the loss of your love, right? This is your life partner, right? And you took that song and expressed it and it weakened you to the point that you dropped to your knees. Wow, that's, that's emotional. So in uh, this journey now. I, I can tell you, mm -hmm. when I get those ways, mm -hmm. there's some other voice that come out of me that nobody knows. Oh, I really? Have. But I have to reach there. I have to reach that heights. And it comes. And that's the true voice. Would you call it the true voice? Because you said it's a... It's uh, a different voice, you say. It's a different vibe. I'll more call it a spiritual vibe. A, a spiritual, spiritual voice. Vibe. Spirit okay. hit me deep within. Mm -hmm. You can feel it to your bones, to your core. You all start to tremble and vibrate. Yes. Yeah, I'm know those feelings. <laughs> 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 like, yeah, pulse out. <laughs> yeah, man. So, yeah. What, what can we look forward to? I know you said you're coming up with videos, and when can we look forward to the 
I know you said the album is coming soon. Can you give us a time frame as to when or maybe the name of the album so that we could look out for it? Will you be coming back and sharing when you do drop the album? You know, me not left you up. It's okay. going to be All right. Just want to make sure. Me not left you out. Going to make sure yeah. you come back to Hope Canada, especially yeah. when you drop in the album, because, you know, we, 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 we want to we wanna make sure the people know where yeah. to find the album, where to get the album, yeah. and these things. Right now, we don't have a name for the album. Okay, you're still working through all the different songs, songs to see? And then right. We'll, we'll decide. Mm -hmm. But I know late summer, early fall, boom, bang, bang. And we know there. that it's all about love. It's all about love. All about love, because we say love is the answer. Only love. Mm -mm, only, only love. love. L-O-V-E, love is all we need, L-O-V-E. Yeah. <laughs> for real. No ask for no peace, <laughs> come and never start no war. So love you gotta show you love, love, it's a universal thing, thing, thing. People, you have to check out Ninja, you know, just about a few minutes, we're going to have Ninja bless the stage. He's going to give us three of his students. And I'm so looking forward to it. I want you guys to keep it locked. Get yourself ready. Because this is an artist you don't want to miss. You hear me? Ninja, anything you want to tell the people before you go? Love. The world is here right now. It's your oyster. Um, I can't tell the people him right now. It's just the world need more love, you know. I'm say the world need a love injection. Mm. Love well, injection the world need. Injections yeah. are, are are being promoted right now, so I don't know what 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 kind of injection, but but um. And that have to come from <laughs> oneself. Love of self. Yeah, from oneself. Mm. One's it's so funny you say that. This week, um, I haven't really been out because pandemic, right? Yeah. So this week, I decided I wanted to go out. I want to touch a mic, do something. And I go to karaoke at the place in, in where I'm at. And I'm listening to everybody. And I'm like, boy, should I touch the mic? Should I? And the only song I could think of was Be Happy, Mary J. Blige, which is about love. You know, how can I love somebody else if I can't love myself enough to know, right? So I understand the message that you're giving. And it is a really good message. And I want the people them to know that love is the answer Try to think about how you can handle situations with a different type of vision and put the vision to be love. Not everything has to be warped with the emotion. Try to think of love when you handle the situation, right? Ninja, I want to take this time to say thanks again You're for welcome, blessing my me. Sister. I'm looking yeah. forward for you to touch the stage now and let the people know who is Ninja. Let the people hear the vocal styling of Ninja Music. Hear it out of Cut and Clear Productions. Big up yourself everywhere. Cut and Clear Music Productions, Cut and Clear Radio. You don't know. Hope Canada, if you're an artist out there and you are looking to get yourself involved, to get interviewed, to showcase your talents, whether you sing, whether you dance, even if you're a comedian, we want to hear from you. We want you to come share your material with us. Let the people know who you are. We've been on a lockdown for two years. This is the opportunity. We've set the stage. All you have to do is get involved. So go on to Moksha Canada Foundation. Go to the tab that says get involved. Put in your name. Put in your abilities. Put in your songs. Send us a pic. Let us know who you are. Of course, most importantly, Put your preferred host, Miss Candace Cash, so that I can be the one to have the honor of meeting you, of introducing you to the world, to the platform. All right? You ready for them? You ready to do the thing for them? Yeah, man. Get him a little sample now. Shut up. Get him a little acapella. Any one of them you were doing tonight, get them an acapella right now. May I give them something different? May I go to oh, something different? Give them different? something different. Them they even hear yet. Remember, they're not here yet, you know. So anything you give them. Many rivers to cross As I traveled along The white cliffs of Dover 
have been licked, washed up for years, and I merely survive because of my love. Okay, okay, don't don't kill them, don't kill them, don't kill them, don't kill them. All you ready? Ninja to the world. Don't know. Keep it locked. You're gonna see his performance now. One perfect love. Yeah, greetings everyone. I am blessed to be here with Moksha Canada Foundation for the host Miss Candice Cash. Cut and clear, music production and radio station, big up yourself. Anyway, you're there. I don't know. This is Ninja, my artist name. N-I-N slash J-A-H, Ja. Because you know it's a Rasta thing. You see it? I'm can't forget for big up. The engineer in a league now, KG Russell. You don't know. Moksha Canada. Moksha Canada. This is Ninja. Yeah, yeah. Official name is Michael Cohen. So check that name there. You see it? Don't know, say. It's a music family. You see me? Run it! Samantha, you know, a girl that I've never met, but I was told she is so beautiful. So I gotta do this song for her. I just hear the beat, I'm just going out for Samantha when I meet it. We tell me meet her. 
Moksha Canada with Miss Candy Skash. Why? Why? Never get the one 
What we say, trouble, people, you don't know. Big up yourself, Ninja. Give thanks for coming out with us tonight. Yeah. Blessing up the place with yeah. some trouble. Yeah, yeah. Cut and clear production. Big up yourself yeah. anyway. You're there. You don't know. Moksha Canada, Hope Canada. If you're an artist out here in the Toronto area and you would love to showcase your talent, please get involved. Go to Moksha Canada foundation and go to the tab put in your information and you don't know choose your preferred hostess with the most this miss candace cash you don't know all right people see you each and every friday right here youtube moksha canada foundation keep it luck hope canada one perfect love ninja i love you big up yourself <laughs> greetings and welcome to hope Canada inclusive and resilient live music and art series. This is your girl, Miss Candace Cash. And tonight we have with us Prestige Ignites. Prestige, welcome. Thank, Thank you, you so me. much for taking the time to come out and chill with me today. I am so ecstatic that you're here. Um, I met you a few years ago at the... Um, what was the show? It was a cut and clear show. Um, it was the show. Oh, we are Dweet? We are Dweet. Mm -hmm. That's where I met you. Mm -hmm. It was my first um, cut and clear production show. And it was an experience because I met so much more artists than I've known within the Toronto area. And Prestige was one of the female artists that was on the show. And it's always good when you can connect with a positive female system, you know? So big up yourself for taking the time to come out tonight and, and thanks, bless thanks. up the place with your presence, with your talents. Thank we you. We truly appreciate it. Um, let's know about Prestige. So where you come from, Prestige? Blessed love. Thank you for having me, Candice Cash. I really appreciate you having this beautiful show, Moksha Canada Foundation. Blessings and thank you so much for having us, Hope Canada. Yes. Um, so my name is Prestige, but mm -hmm. I usually go by the name Prestige Ignites because... Right. You know, because you're not light up the stage. What? You ignite Girl, you the thing. You couldn't have even said it any better. Yes, you got to <laughs> ignite the light in those who are willing to see it mm. in sight. Nice. I like your well philosopher. <laughs> philosophical. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That. <laughs> right there. Yeah, my, my, my word. My wake it up. My wake it up. Move with it. Okay, in it. So, <laughs> so, where are you from? Are you from Canada originally? Are you. Yes, I am originally from Canada, okay. um, but my background happens to be Pakistani, English, Jamaican. Okay. So. What? what? You're just a real mix. Throw me in the Dutch Pakistani, pot. English, Jamaican. What? What a mix. mix. Well, what, well, Kalalu right here, you know, people. Mm, a Kalalu we have here, you know. Okay. She had a so, 
must be all the green we're wearing Eyes at Trini, so we go say color. <laughs> so, sis, you're here today. I want to know about your journey because um, the only time I was blessed to come in, in communication with you was at the We Are Do It show. Mm-hmm. So let us know how long you've been doing music, walking this path, how long you've been on this musical journey. Well, that is a long journey. Hmm. How long? When did you start? Okay, so I started when I was about like seven, ten, and it's seven, start- ten. Yes, yeah, seven years old, ten years old. Okay, okay, mm-hmm. okay. And it started off with a group called Triple Feature. Okay, with two childhood friends, um, Jennifer and Deanna. Big up yourself, Jennifer and Deanna. Big up you. Pursue your goals and your dreams. <laughs> yes, most definitely. And we entered a competition, and I believe it was the lovely. Um, What's her beautiful name? The lady from Baywatch. Okay. And she was the hostess. And basically we won third place. It was a pretty exciting thing. It was a big stage. And, Mm -hmm. you know, and then from there, we just branched off and did our own thing. But, of course, Prestige wanted to still be in the light. Something about the mic, you know? It it has such power and force, right? So after that, I just branched off. And every year in school, I would be jukebox. (laughs) I would like to sing songs. So you would always do the talent shows and showcase Most your definitely. And showcase. What was your favorite talent show song? Like your your blow them out the box song. Do you know what just came through my head? I sang Angel in the Sky, she was Brandy? Oh. But somehow you fell for her until she broke your heart the day and I let you run away. But still I love you. Because of you. Whoa. Angel in Disguise. On the ear vocals. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, brandy. brandy, you were doing Brandy back oh, in the days. Yes, I just love it. <laughs> That's one of my favorite artists, Brandy. Really? I do like the vocals. I do like her soul, right? I love her soul, soulful mm-hmm. stuff. Um, so, would you say that Brandy would have been uh, an artist that you looked up to within your journey since what? you since that was one of your favorites just one of the legends just one of the legends there were so many so I tell us Monica, tell us what influenced your music Aaliyah. honestly there's no music i'm sorry girls are gonna probably don't, don't don't hold it against me but there's no music like there was music that used to resonate before mm. right now you know so that's what i try to aim for i try to go with things that are relatable not you know just talking about your Hair in your ass. So beautiful. when you say when you say back then, like let me hear the era you're talking about because you know we all have different uh, extensions of music as to what is a back then, right? So mm-hmm. what would be your back then between seventies and nineties? Oh, mm-hmm. oh, oh! When dance did nice, you see? When dance did a nice. <laughs> When they weren't playing WWF. Mm, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> and body slamming. Yeah. Okay, okay, good. Well, so- let's, let's not go into the dance hall. <laughs> We're going to keep it on prestige ignites. <laughs> She's igniting up the thing right now. <laughs> so yes. when dance was nice, you, you did a lot of those type of music. So oh, you said yeah. that your influence was Monica, Brandy. You said Whitney? Yeah, well, to be honest with you, just missing out a few things. Um, my uncle is a DJ, Uncle DJ, big up you. Uncle DJ, big up yourself. Mm-hmm. My father, Open Doors Entertainment, and my mother, Dorothy Ramekin. Um, she used to like to just throw me on the, you know, you just have that child that wants the mic. Something about the mic, okay? <laughs> she just have some party. Where you say I love chap on the mic? Eh? I love the mic, what? <laughs> You got to love you, every part of you, all the good, the bad, the ugly, it all. Listen, right? yes, you have to accept that. That is so mm. true. So would you say that your family, because I always ask this question on the show, because I believe that no man is an island, right? Mm-hmm. And I believe that we all need people in order to be great. Sweet. We can be great in ourselves, yes, but the people that we have around us helps us to reach a different elevation, right? Most definitely. So who would you say? Is your cheerleaders? It's your 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 crew, your people that you know pushes you forward. So I, I heard you mention your mom, your dad. So I just want to you know ask the question now since you're kind of going in the direction. <laughs> my supporters would definitely have to be my familia, being my children, being my. You have children. Family. Yes, I do. I have children. Oh my good, mommy girl. Oh girl, girl. listen, listen. Now <laughs> and now you're going in a different category. Because Let's do it. To be a female artist, 
is is grand. We already know that the struggle is real. We already know that the road is a different road for a female. But to be a female artist and a mother, to me, it's double. Because you also have your home mommy time to deal with. And then you have to go out there and be the artist. You know? So I respect you for that. Mm -hmm. To know Thank that you. you're a mommy and you're doing it big. Gotta push. You gotta push for the star. And how are you gonna teach your children? I'm trying to, I'm striving. Mm -hmm. I don't say try. I'm not trying nothing yet. But I'm striving to teach them that all of us can do it. You know, you see mommy doing this. Everybody else is doing this. I'm doing it for them. I'm paving the way so that they have that portal to walk right through and be like, oh, I'm out here. My mom helped me. You know what I'm saying? Yes. You yes. gotta give that mm, That push, yeah. Mm -hmm. And also never giving up. Never giving up. Never yeah. giving up is so important. There and, will be the battles, you know, but And experience. I'm so glad that you shared that with us. So we have Prestige Ignite. She is a mommy. She is a musician. She's a singer, songwriter. She writes her own music. Yes, I do. Thank you understand? You. And um, we're going to be hearing from her soon. But as we keep it moving, because <laughs> all I know, I like to ask questions. I just go yeah. on and on. Sometimes I just have to look at the cues because, you know. But anyways, <laughs> as we keep it moving, Prestige, what would you say is your most memorable moment within your journey? Because you said you started from seven. You've been holding mics, you know, since you're seven years old. You've been singing. You've been yes. doing your thing, right? You had mm -hmm. um, experiences in a group settings. You've had experiences solo. Um you know, and I'm sure you've done many collaborations. So on the journey, what would be your memorable moment that you can say, boy, I remember this and it was, it was good, it was bad, it was indifferent, but mm. share an event with us. Give us the story of that event because I always feel like when you share these type of moments in music, you know, it inspires, but it also helps others to know what to expect or mm. even, you know. Oh, I got it. I got a few. I'm like, why don't you want? Listen, give us a few. I I'm really, it's all about you. Yeah, it is okay. all about it's you. It's all about us today, <laughs> sister, because we're resonating and vibrating together. It's about us today. Okay. So I would definitely say, for one thing, mm -hmm. I like that you brought up the mother thing and we, okay, so I will say that I never quit. I'll be pregnant, big belly, and then it'll be like, sweet sap. We'll, we'll call me and be like, Empress, are you going to call me? Sing, you know, sing a bling a, uh. Oh my goodness, there's so many people. Um, Canada, what was that beautiful thing we did? What? Do you remember where I actually met Empress Nez? That beautiful, okay, so there was a big event that they have around Caravana, so I was on it, and there was a lot of artists, and one thing that was memorable for me is that I was number three, number three is very significant, three, three always happens to, you know, Ascended Masters are here, Oh, wow. I always get 3332. Three, three, Girl. Triple three. Yeah. I, I've never looked it up, but I always get resonated. Sometimes oh, when I'm going God. to pick up my kids, I see 333 three, three. in the morning. I'm waking up around 333. Three, three. It's crazy. I have to on look the right that up. On the right path. You're on the right I'm path. I'm on the right path. Your son and masters are here and they're look cheering at that. you on. The ancestors is blessing me. I'm, I'm, <laughs> give thanks. Give thanks. I share. Yeah. So. Keep going. I'm sorry. Okay, I just, yeah, I was number three. Go ahead. Number three, okay? So I was number three, and right when I got on stage, I was getting nervous. I was like, I, don't, I really want my family to be here. I really mm -hmm. want. And then all of a sudden, as I got on stage and I just looked, all the children were right there. And I was like, okay, let the show go on. You know, that was one memorable moment. Yeah, because you perform for your children. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. But honestly, I've been performing a lot, like downtown Toronto, uh, talent shows. Uh, we a dweet. Um, I, I've recorded with um, at Cliff's, Cliff's beautiful um, thing. It's now Starliners. They're working together. Okay. Clifton and uh, yeah, yeah. So um, I went there a lot of times, and I completed a lot of things with Shakina. Like yes, my thing is the more things that you do, the more momentum you create. So true. You know? So and the more collabos. Who would you say was one of your memorable collabos? Because I know you've done a lot of collabos. Oh, man. There's a lot. I used to sing for underground um, artists that mm -hmm. would sing in the States and whatnot. And um, For a collab, honestly, one that hasn't come out yet, me and my brother. 
Really? Oh, yes, me and my brother. Are we going to have this on your album? Mr. 50 Cent, oh, girl, I'm pushing for it. I'm pushing <laughs> for it. But honestly, that was very memorable for me. And actually, I'm looking for more collabs. If anybody want, you know, just holla. How can people get at you? Oh, let's you let's let them that. know how to get at Christine. How could you not do that? Of course, we have to do that. <laughs> we have to let the people know how to get you. Most definitely. Well, first and foremost, I would have to say Cut and Clear Music. Cutandclair.com. Mm hmm. That's C U T A N D C L E A R.com. And also could be Cutandclair Music PR at gmail.com if you want to link up, you know, any collabs. Nice, nice. And so on your social media, which social media do you use more? So, <laughs> okay. I got a beautiful answer for that one. Okay. You could just go to prestigeignights.com mm -hmm. <laughs> and there you'll get all the Instagram, the Twitter, the Foss book. I call it Foss. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Prestige Ignite. So that's P-R-E-S-T-I-G-E-I-G-N-I-T-E-S.com. And everything is basically Prestige Ignites. You got me. So what you do? Google at Prestige Ignites. You'll get everything, but definitely click on to prestigeignites.com. Follow her. Follow all the social media. Send her a link. Say, yo, I'm going to check out your, 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 your interview. It was nice. Okay. All right. Let's keep it. Oh, gosh. How I'm forgetting so many things. I have two videos out. And okay. that is a beautiful experience. Big up Cut and Clear Music Production again. And Press Nas. Big up you. Big up you, Ninja. Ross Wise. Everybody up. Okay. Anyway. Everybody in the Cut yeah. and Clear family. What we say? Cut and Clear. Big we up Candice for having us here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yes. But I have my two videos out. So tell me about it. What was the experience of doing your videos? Oh, my God. It was so were, were you um, have artistic um, direction on the video? Were you... Oh, of course. Uh, well, love that. I love that. Love it. Um, so Start to Real Insight was helping me, um, media productions, sorry. Okay. Um, so basically, we did fruition. Mm -hmm. And he's a very easy and uh, abundant person to work with. Everything just goes flow tree with him, you know, and he helped me there. And Press Naz, we actually... We both have the storyline, actually. Okay, good. Yeah, good. I love working with that girl. She's awesome. Yeah, she is. Queen, not girl. Anywho, <laughs> um, but uh, basically fruition was a beautiful experience as well as Talitha Coom, where I worked with, oh, how could I ever forget, Indie Roots Records from nice. Montreal. Yes, yes. He drove all the way from Montreal, said, we're doing this. I'm like, really? That's so good. Uh -huh. And you know what? That just means that you have a really good team. And it's important, as I mentioned, mm -hmm. to have a good team. Support, support, support. Definitely is important. Also, support from other artists. So oh, yes. the fact that you have many artists collabos, many artist friends, support is definitely needed. And with us coming out of the pandemic, it's been really hard for a lot of artists because we are creative individuals. We are creators. And so not having that outlet and that platform to be creators has, you know, had some of us go through dark days, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm so glad that we're able to have a platform where we can speak about these things, speak mm -hmm. about, you know, your music, your journey. Well, you and, definitely. And, and, of course, showcase. I think that's the major thing that I like about Hope Canada, the fact that not only do I get to sit and talk with you, I get to see what you can do. I get to hear your vocals, and the people do too, right? So my question to you now is... <laughs> what is it? My question to you now is, what are you looking forward to do? For example, what is your envision for Prestige Ignites? I know that you're coming out with your album, mm -hmm. but let's say five years from now, what do you <laughs> want to see for Prestige? Did I envision you saying this today? Or I, you... I don't know. I, I just did. I just go off my head. There's no clipboard. I like it. There's no... I, <laughs> I just like vibe, it. okay? Innovation at its <laughs> finest, my dear, at its finest. Off the brain. Okay. <laughs> well, it was a good brain. All right. Thank well, you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's see. Um, okay, so I have my beautiful EP coming out around fall, I would say. Do we have a name? Summer. I'm working on it, but it's going along the fall goals of life because everything in that beautiful album talks about the fall goals of life because it started with Empress Senorita, and now we're here at Prestige Ignite. So. It's the follicles of life? Yes, follicles okay. of life. Right, because one thing about Prestige 
is I would like to ignite light with the words that I speak, be it about love, be it about self, be it about God, just embracing everything, all the darkness that you embrace, then you can delve into light, you know, because a lot of people, they don't really have much to thrive off of. It's like, I would like to be something, would like to feed their soul. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Be like, you have to open the dictionary and be like, what does that mean? (laughs) Oh, so what you're saying, you want to be that intellectual? Yes, philosopher. Mm -hmm. Because all of my words are not of mine. They are of my ancestry line, okay? They are my ancestors. They are spirit. They speak right through me mm-hmm. to everybody else. And because a lot of people say, you know, it helps. It helps to hear something that they're going through that they can be relatable to. Yes, relatable is definitely important because, I mean, if you're talking about something that we can't relate to, how are we going to get into it? Unless it has a really good beat. Beat is uh. all about the beats, too. When you get a good beat, no one <laughs> really knows what you're singing. There's a lot of music out there. I don't know what they're saying, but the beat is nice. It is. So I rock. I rock to the beat. <laughs> <laughs> music you know, is universal. You and, and it has such a great spirit. It has a spirituality within the music. Um, I, I've, I've had days where, you know, you go through bad times and a personal song or a particular favorite song comes on and it just changes it brings a memory you know music is so powerful so yes hence the reason i want to hear about your journey i want to hear what's your aspirations five years from now where do you want to see prestige ignites you know yes what are you looking forward to what is your goal in this journey my goal is to transform others with the words that come through my mouth like to be able to say yeah you know i listened to that and you know what i took from that not just yeah, it's a nice sound, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. I want people to be able to relate, to say, yeah, I could do that too. And that's what you want in five years for Prestige. In, in five years, everybody's going to hear everything. I'm going to have a whole bunch more music out there Good. because music just flows right through me like poetry. Good. And there's going to be different types of formalities of them. And everybody, everybody, I just want oneness, complete oneness and unity through all music. So what I'm hearing is, in five years, you want to show people your versatility. Most definitely. You want to open yourself to other musical genres. Most definitely. You want to have more albums under your belt. Ah. Uh, now, you didn't say these words. I didn't, but I'm I like just, the way you took this it. This is what I'm grabbing <laughs> from what you said. My yeah. interpretation or perception mm. of what you're saying, mm. this is what I'm, I'm hearing here. So um, in five years, as I said, you want to, have multiple albums you want to show versatility yes in your style in your vocals More in your videos. genre of music yeah. um is there any Every particular song. place that you want to travel to or anything that you know you can share because speaking about it manifested too right yes your tongue is important we have to be it's able to call things that. into our future fruition yeah and so what 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 where would you like to go with with this with with your journey honestly in five years we will have had many other things because i have um my show that i do like people just like to listen to what i have to say that's good (laughs) so i have my lovely 5k subscribers on snapchat sorry i didn't hear you have 5k subscribers on (laughs) snapchat and i'm just basically speaking about life Okay. You know, so I have that, my poetry. I'm coming out with a book. Nice. I'm coming out with a book. I have to because that's what Follicles of Life is all about. Okay. Like going through all of these stages and being able to be comfortable enough to speak about them and grow with them. So right? true. So okay, true. so I would like to say Donna Makeda, I would like to definitely big up that beautiful Empress of mine because um, I used to hear her as a child. My mom used to play her. And I swear we manifested her into our life because I was in Reggae Exclusive Magazine. I was on the front cover. I was interviewed by them. Um, I was in her beautiful video. Yes. Oh, we yes. were in each other. We I was in, in the, the beautiful video. We were in the video, girl. <laughs> as a matter of fact, <laughs> I can say, you know, big shout out to Donna Makeda. Um, one of the videos where I saw it, there was a great sisterhood. Um, in the video, um, and also oh. it was also a how can I say it a futuristic because in that video I was actually interviewing her in the video. I don't know if uh, if anyone check out the video, 
Um, I'm in the video in all white and I'm interviewing her on a radio show. Mm -hmm. And it so happened that that's where the journey took me after that. So I call that into my life. I started doing a, a radio show on Otoon and then Hope Canada Moksha pulled me and said, listen, you sound good on the radio, but we want to see you on mm -hmm. video. So um, big up to Donna Makeda for, sell out. for, you know, giving that prophecy, for prophesizing because I, I didn't see that in my future, right? So blessings out to Donna Makeda, reggae exclusive. You don't know. Every year I do try to support the thing, the calendars and the magazine. So people, you don't know, we have a magazine out here in Toronto, reggae exclusive. Check it out. Donna Makeda, big up yourself, especially for the unity and showcasing of artists in that you write write ups and you know make sure people know what's happening out there but we have to get back to prestige because it's all about <laughs> prestige right <laughs> i i manifested her into life no, well like i said mm. you you said you were listening to her first and then you, you meet her and now you guys are, are good friends right so these mm -hmm. are this these are all prophecies right these are all things coming there into you to, to to your path into your journey Yes. Right? You never thought about that when you started, Definitely. but it happened, right? Most and definitely. it's all from the work uh, that you do and the enhancement of self. Yes, creating momentum is definitely, with everything that happens is experience. Mm -hmm. And the thing about it is it could be good or bad, but you learn from it and whatever you take from that is what makes you create more momentum. You know, so I'm glad I'm very blessed. I'm very grateful and highly appreciated for everybody in my journey. Like, like if, if there's a mic there, then prestige has to be there. You just, how can I get on that mic? And that's where a lot of my journey came from. Okay, I want to sing in the talent show. I want to go up to that karaoke. I want to, you know, create more momentum. And it's not because I want to be heard. It's just because it comes so natural. From I was a child, I felt like I owe God. I owe him to do exactly what I was gifted to do, because many are what? Many are called. Well, the few are chosen. chosen. It's true. It's mm -hmm. true. And many are called, and few can fight the fear, because huh. fear is real. False evidence appearing real is real. Mm -hmm. And um, I'd like to say for any of the artists in Toronto that's out there listening or checking us out, overcome your fear. As um, a past artist said before, fear is real. Believe in yourself and move forward towards your goals. No one's going to know your talent unless you show them, right? So get involved. Get on to Moksha. It's beautiful. MokshaCanada.com. We're waiting for you guys. We want you guys to get involved with us. Come and be a part of the show. Come and showcase your talent. Whether you're a singer, a dancer, a comedian, yo, just show your talent. Come out. A drummer, come and drum. Let us hear what you can do. Because talents, gifts were given to each man. And when you have your gift, it's your job and your duty to share it with everyone, right? So Perfect. love is the answer. And prestige is here to ignite the stage. So you have to <laughs> keep it locked, right? You have to keep it locked because we're about to get prestige on the stage. And uh, I don't know what is to come. So can you let us know what you'll be doing tonight Ooh. so that we can let the people kind of get a tease? You want to give us a little acapella? Uh, <laughs> most I'm definitely always. always. I'm, always <laughs> I'm always pushing the acapella because hmm. I feel like, well, here's what. I don't push it I, because not everyone feels comfortable singing without music. Hmm. Not everyone, not every artist feels comfortable doing their stuff without music. So if you would like to bless us, please. I'm always put on spot, especially on Cut and Clear Radio. <laughs> Mom put me on spot, so I'm quite well, fine with it. Well, Candice We're Cash. well under pressure. One to put Prestige Ignites <laughs> on the spot before she even touch the mic and they hear the music in the background and take more ear before she go there, okay? All right, touch it and let the people hear your take. Anything you want to do. Okay. All right. Well, you know what? I'm going to sing one of my songs that I'm not going to sing tonight, but it is out because I have five songs out. Good, good, and, good. And like call how out, we're speaking. Call out the names of the songs so people could look oh. up your songs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it's zero, Z-E-R-O. And basically it's just speaking about, you know how we always go into a thousand? You got to take it to zero. So you got to meditate, 
vibrate so that you can go back to zero. So, so what you're saying is stand still, take a chill pill, and yeah, with God, or- with self. You can't. Don't look outside of yourself for yourself. Like that is just you know you go to the Father, right? So oh, for the God is within. Mm-hmm. So it's funny because everybody would think that I'm speaking to a man, right? <laughs> I just like to throw it in the sauce there, but I'm actually speaking to the man, the almighty man, mm-hmm. why we all are here. So true. Okay. Regardless of who you So that's here. zero. What else do we have coming up? Okay. So we got fruition. Fruition. Mm-hmm. And we have a video out for that. Mangoes, right? Mango. Oh, right, God. Mango rid- what? right. Mango riddle. Right. Mango riddle. <laughs> Woo. We, we so are we, that are we doing that tonight? Are we going to do that tonight? We're going to do that okay, one tonight. Okay. So you yeah. guys got to look out for the right mm-hmm. mango. Okay. All right. Wildflower. Wildflower. Tell Speaking us about wildflower. Pardon? Tell us about wildflower. Most definitely. Are you doing that one tonight? I most definitely am doing so wildflower. So what can we expect from wildflower? <laughs> By embracing your inner child and nurturing is how you grow and how you flow. So what do you think would happen afterwards? You would have that wildflower child, right? Mm. You got to be a wildflower child to be able to embrace your inner darkness in order to move. And one song that I'm not singing tonight, because remember we were speaking about genres, right? Mm-hmm. My song, Talitha Kum, that is exactly what it speaks about. I forgot to say that when you were speaking about that earlier. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> Just keep it moving, I know, right? I know. Keep it grooving, right? <laughs> so Talitha Kum is speaking of embracing your inner darkness because you know it's rock and roll. Right. It's rock and roll, right? And not a lot of people want to touch it, but I always wanted to touch it. And Talitha Kum is definitely about embracing your darkness. To delve in light, right? Okay. But we're not doing that one tonight. I just thought I'd throw it in there. I talk a lot, too. <laughs> okay, so we just got one minute to go. Are you going to give us a little acapella before you touch the stage? Most definitely. Touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it. <laughs> First, I felt the tension, but I didn't mention this kind of love convention made me have to question question boom prestige ignites you don't know we're gonna check her out right now steeping it lock right here hope canada with your girl miss candace cash one perfect love blessed love everybody it has been a lovely evening i'm your girl prestige thank you so much for having me hope canada and this beautiful moksha canada foundation i am so grateful for this event and to end this beautiful evening i'm gonna be singing three of my songs firstly Bittersweet. Prestige. Said it once, I'll say it again. I'm looking for a spiritual nuance of fairy names. You run me the right way. I love it when you say my name. Say it, say prestige. And press how you do the thing. Make it feel some type of way, put you under siege. Never seen your type before. Come from a different claw shadow. Better try and take your time, cause this one needs a real mess and no brush and cry. Fun, looking for a vitality, free spirit personality. Basically, if you think you can keep up with my regularities, then come try, come by with me. Just know we'll be some bit of sweet, bit of sweet. I hear it all the time. I know you're mine, a diamond just like you, shining so bright and pure. I serve you. No kiss is just absurd. It's all. Oh, wow. I need a love like you, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bitter, bitter, sweet. It gets challenging. Are you willing to embrace my fall when I ever call? Will you hear my call? I want you, babe. I will agree. But not till I really see that you can truly fight with me. Show me what's up with this frequency. Then come try, come by with me. No, we'll be 
my hostess, my girl, Candace Cash. You're doing a beautiful, lovely job. Thank you for having me on your beautiful, beautiful show. Okay, so what I wanted to say is my next song is Zero, and I would just like to give a little bit of uh, introduction with it. So sometimes we're going 1,000, and we don't realize why we're doing that, right? <laughs> so I like to bring it back down to zero, because when you go to spirit, you have to start from the beginning and go all the way back. So let's do it, zero. I love, 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 I why am I always dreading if this is where I'm heading? Maybe I should stop before I mess this up with my own discretion. You are the way to keep my ship afloat. Not the end alone. Keep the joy and hope. Just continue to send you away. Here's my heart 
Thank you so much. That was my beautiful song, Zero. And I would like to just bring another introduction for fruition. So a lot of times when we're going through certain things and we need to learn to let God, because the more that we hold on to things that aren't of us, the more it gets away from us. So this song, Fruition, is about what occurs after you let go and let God. Fruition occurs. Oh, why? Oh, why? their inner child so this song is what happens when it goes wild give me some wildflower <laughs> And I feel the light It's a one-meter ghetto, baby 
Oh my gosh, Sistrin, I am so thankful that you took the time to come to Hope Canada. I truly, truly enjoyed your performance, your vocals. I, I just want you to continue moving forward, pushing forward, and elevating yourself musically. I see your journey is going to be really bright. You don't know. More big up, Cotton Claire. You don't know. We're here. And any artist that's out there that wants to take the opportunity to come in and showcase themselves and have an interview, please get involved. Go to Moksha Canada Foundation. Go to the Get Involved tab. Sign up as a performer and put your preferred host as Miss Candice Cash. Okay. <laughs> Love you all. Come back each and every Friday, 6 p.m., Moksha Canada YouTube channel. One perfect love.